All right, guys, let me tell you how much Audible costs, and I'll put a timestamp right around here for anyone who wants to skip the intro, but this question is not for the lighthearted, okay? I've seen things, I've been places, I've met people, and I'm just kidding. In all seriousness, Audible has a cost, but it depends how much you're looking to get out of it. And this is a great video for anyone who's maybe heard that there are different membership options, but you're not really sure which one would work for you. So I'm gonna talk about the different Audible membership options with current US pricing, what you get from them, and how they're different from each other. But I'm also gonna shatter a misconception about Audible that is so big that some people find it out and they immediately cancel their membership. Before I get started, I made another video going over the basics of Audible, how it works, how credits work, um, and how to use the app, and much, much more. It's probably my best video yet, and I'll drop a link in the description, but I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Welcome back to my channel. Channel. My name is Sam and I want to make self-growth normal because people shouldn't have to look this information up and just be mainstream knowledge. If you agree, then please make sure to smash that like button. These are all the plans, all the plans. There are five of them. Three of them are monthly, two of them are yearly. And my guess is that one of these makes up about 80% of Audible members or more. And I'll explain which one that is and why it's so popular as well, but a lot of people watching this may not even need to watch the whole video because that one might be the only one they really wanna know about. So let's start with the first one, Audible Plus. This is the Audible Plus plan, it's $7.95 a month. This is what allows you to listen all you want to something Audible calls the Plus Catalog. The Plus Catalog is a selection of thousands of audiobooks, Audible Originals, which is basically audiobooks that are exclusive to Audible, sleep tracks, meditation programs, and podcasts. And just a brazen disclaimer here, this is not all of Audible. This is just a selection of it, and they add to it every single week. If you'd like to know how to access all of Audible, it's coming right up. The next plan is Audible Premium Plus. This is $14.95 a month. This gives you everything Audible Plus does and one credit every month. What's a credit? A credit can be redeemed on any book, no matter what it is. And you get to keep that book forever, even if you cancel your membership. The reason this is a big deal is that a lot of books on Audible, if you don't have this membership at least, they can be maybe 20 to $30 a piece. All the rest of the plans in this video, after this one, they build on this whole concept where it's basically everything Audible Plus has and a certain amount of credits. It's all the same benefits, just different prices and credit amounts. I'm just saying that in case later in the video anyone's wondering, you know, does this still come with X or Y benefit? Good news, Johnny. They're all the same. But this one is the absolute most popular membership because I don't think most people really listen to more than like one book a month. And here are some of the other benefits because if you do, you can always buy more credits when you run out at a discounted rate. I made a video about how to do this and I'll drop a link to that in the description as well. But this membership also comes with some crazy off the wall deals. A lot of holiday sales and stuff. A lot of people know this, but Audible has a free month trial where they give you two free audiobooks. Until January 10th, 2024, they've had something, and they have a daily deal, which is a book for like $2.99 that changes daily. All books that aren't included in your membership that you have to buy to listen to are also discounted at, at the very minimum 30%. 30% or higher. A lot of the time you might see 60 to 70%, so these prices can be pretty nuts. Uh, it's a little like Audible's version of Amazon Prime, if you will, but this is a fantastic membership option. It's easily the most popular, and if you only listen to maybe one book a month, I'd recommend it for sure, because a lot of Audible's competitors, even if they cost less per month, they have nothing close to the same selection. Now, what I mainly do on this channel is actually nonfiction book reviews. So I review a lot of books, right, and books not podcasts, not sleep tracks, and not meditation programs. So I don't really use the Plus Catalog that often myself, but if, assuming you guys also don't, I'll do the math for you as to how much each one of these plans costs per credit. If you have one credit, something to keep in mind, a book can sometimes cost less than a credit. So what I would recommend is just buying that book and saving the credit for a different book that costs more than a credit. And I'll link my video below on how credits work in 2024 as well. But I'm gonna start adding the cost per credit of each membership, not just what each membership is and how much it costs per month. So next up is Audible Premium Plus two credits. This is $22.95 a month. This is exactly the same as the last one we went over. The only difference is that instead of one credit a month, they give you two credits a month. The previous one was $14.95 a credit. This one is $11.48 per credit. So I'd recommend it to anyone who usually listens to two books a month. The next plan is the Audible Premium Plus annual plan. This is 12 credits. 
They give you 12 credits once a year. It's 149 and 50 cents a year. This plan is 1245 a credit. I wouldn't recommend it to all that many people, really only someone who's been an Audible member for some time and they get one credit per month and they're like, you know what, I love using Audible. I get just the right amount of use out of it, but is there a way that maybe I could pay less for credit, like all in bulk or something and not have to worry about it throughout the year? Kind of like if you could buy Audible credits at Costco or something like that. I think that's where they were kind of, what they were kind of going for with this plan. And the last one is the Audible Premium Plus Annual Plan with 24 credits. This is $2.29 and 50 cents a year. This is the plan I have because I listen to about 50 books a year and it is $9 and 56 cents a credit, which means that it's been years, literally years since the last time I spent more than $10 on an audiobook. But that's why I would say this plan is for people who are either all in on Audible, they listen to a bunch of books and they just wanna spend as little as humanly possible per book in the process or more specifically, they listen to at least two books a month and they see themselves being an Audible member for at least another year. Now, aside from all this, I do want to shatter the biggest misconception about Audible. I've made over 30 videos about Audible now, and in the comments, I have read more complaints about this than I have thank yous for disclosing. It. Audible is amazing. I've been a member for almost eight years now, um, and anything I can name that's changed my life more than Audible, it came into my life after I started listening to Audible. So it's completely transformed my life, and I hope that by using it and making these videos, it makes a similar impact on your life. So here's the misconception. Audible is not what we would call, like people might think, an all-you-can-eat platform like Netflix or Spotify, where for a monthly fee, you have unlimited access to listen to anything you want. I mean, it is, but it's only for the Audible Plus catalog, which is just a small part of the many, many hundreds of thousands of books they have available. I do not know why this is. I don't. It might have to do with books not being as popular as music or movies or TV shows, and they're just not as decentralized. But I can tell you that audiobooks contain a lot more content than movies movies and music. Instead of one to two hours, like many movies or albums, most audiobooks can be six to eight hours long, some as long as 30 or more. But that's where audiobook decentralization stands right now, and this may bother some people, but as understandable as that is, if you're looking for something beyond the library, where you just pay once a month and you listen to anything you want whenever, it doesn't exist, folks. Audible is the closest thing to it. It just is. If it does exist, I can just about guarantee you that it is not available in America. And if it it is, I can just about guarantee you it does not have close to the same selection that Audible does, let alone customer service and the whole feature of permanent book ownership. So essentially that's what you're paying for and they have a heck of a value proposition. The physical and digital ownership of books for quite some time is not and has not exactly been cheap. But when you compare the per credit prices at 10 to $15 and there are deals out here that shoot out all these different books for way less, it sounds like a good deal to me when Barnes and Noble are out here charging 20, 30, 40, a book. I'd rather spend $10 on a book than $30, wouldn't you? Every time my wife comes back from Barnes & Noble, every time, she'll say something to me about the price of books, which should mean something because I complain about the prices of things 10 times more than she does. But I have no beef with book prices. You know why? Because I use Audible. So that's how much Audible costs in 2024. The thing that I love the most about this is that when I started in Audible, I'm pretty sure these prices were exactly the same. They've been extremely inflation proof. If you guys have any questions that I did not answer, please let me know in the comments below. Again, I made a separate video going over the basics of Audible, how it works, how credits work, how to use the app, and much more. It's a fantastic video for anyone just getting started. I dropped a link in the description if you wanna check it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, because I don't get why people watch this far into my videos and they don't subscribe. But if you have subscribed, then you wanna turn it up just a notch and turn on that notification bell to get a notification notification whenever I drop new videos, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can find me everywhere and I'll see you then.